Shaq, you guys haven't had very much time to reflect, but when you think back on this season, how do you think it went from a 3-0 and start and so much optimism the way this thing finished up? Um, it just comes down to uh, we got to win the games that we need to win. Um, we keep we can't keep saying every after every game we got to do this, do this, and next week the same stuff that we said last game keeps showing up on the following game. You know what I mean? That's the biggest issue that we had kind of with this year. You know what I mean? Offense might play good, defense play bad. Defense play good, offense play bad. Special teams play good, everybody else plays bad. So in order to win this league, you got to have complimentary football. And, and that's everything from special teams to offense to defense. And that's just something we couldn't really do this year. I mean, you see a glimpse of it here and there, um, but that's something that we got to be consistent of and have consistency of. And uh, we just got to find a way to win, you know what I mean? I don't know how many games we won at home, but it wasn't enough for our fans. It wasn't enough for our record. It wasn't enough for us. And um, we got to find a way next year um, to get things done, whatever it is, whatever happens. And um, just got to find a way to win. When you say that there were glimpses of it, but you kept talking about and the things you talked about kept happening, why is that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we talk about every time I came here, what I say, do your job. Talk about doing your job. And um, that was the biggest thing that kept showing up each and every week. Guys getting out of gaps. Um, I only can speak on the defense. Um, doing techniques that you're not supposed to do. Um, knowing where you're supposed to be and stuff like that. So once we get all that corrected, I think we'll be a perfect team. All right, let's go to Jonathan Alexander. Thanks, Shaq. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm wondering, was there a game in particular where you felt like that was a turning point in the, in the season for you guys? What happened there? The whole season could have been a turning point if we just found the games, if we just won the games we were supposed to win. And um, that's that's what I feel like, to be honest with you. Well, when I say turning point, I mean, you know, you guys were on a high and then you all started losing. I mean, was there a turning point in the, in the fact that caused you guys to take a slide? Like I said, we were supposed to win the games that we were supposed to win. You know what I mean? If we won those games that we were supposed to win, then the outcome would be totally different. Now, understanding that you don't have all the answers for what you all can do and, you know, you want to do your job, what in particular um, has to get better for you guys? Um, what are some tangible things that you think have to get better for you guys? Shoot, That's clearly you every, everything. I mean, we, we're on a losing record. You know what I mean? So clearly everything around us has to get better. Thank you. All right, let's go to Mike Slart there. The next question. Hey, Shaq, how you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for uh, stopping by today. Uh, you've, you've been through a couple of years now with Coach Rule and the talk of, uh, you know, rebuilding and building the culture and, and the process and all those things. With you being a veteran, do you, are you seeing some of the – the, the culture roots taking hold with uh, with what coaches uh, trying to put in put in place. Um, yeah, I see stuff here and there, um, but at the end of the day, we as players gotta gotta fight for each other and have each other's back, and the coaches gotta have our back as well, because we're the ones between those white lines. We're the ones that go out there, execute the calls that they make. You know what I mean? So. We just got to find a way, like I keep saying, find a way to win. We got to find a way to have guys buy in, which I'm not saying everybody else buy it, bought in, but we just got to find a way and we got to keep that culture, that tight-knit group, and just keep more moving forward. Thank you. 